Salutations ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Maniacal Miniatures, my new YouTube channel. On this channel I will be discussing various uh, hobby related uh, articles such as Warhammer, I will be talking about uh, the Old World versus Age of Sigmar, I will be showing you battle reports if uh, you want to see that. Uh, otherwise I will be doing reviews of various hobby sphere products such as brushes, uh, paints, uh, products such as um, uh, I, I have a video coming out that is about uh, Mantic Games um, Terrain Crate, which I ordered uh, quite a bit of in their Kickstarter. Uh, also, there will be coming a, a review of the uh, Warhammer, uh, the trading card game from uh, Playfusion, where I ordered the Founders Pack, which is a limited run, only a thousand made. Um, a thousand and I show five, mm, great. Um, but uh, in this video specifically, I will be unboxing two of these uh, Playfusion uh, made uh, Warhammer Age of Sigma Champions, the trading card game booster boxes. In each of these packs, there are uh, 25 booster packs, which are these little uh, foil uh, insulated uh, card packs with 13 cards in each. And um, yeah, you're guaranteed a foil in each. So yeah, 48 foils guaranteed. Pretty nice. The end game here is getting um, what is known as a master deck, which is uh, three of each action card, which is both the units and actions and spells, and uh, one of each blessing and one of each unique champion. So, I'm feeling hopeful, but there are only 624 cards uh, in this altogether. Um, so that might be a tall order, seeing as there are 270-something cards in total. So that doesn't add up, but let's see what I get. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. I have um, just put off uh, to the side 600 of these uh, Fantasy Flight Supply uh, Clear Sleeves. They are standard cap game size. and. Um, yeah, these are a really nice quality, and I found that that these are, are the best ones in, in my humble opinion. I've had several uh, different kind, but these um, sleeves are nice and sturdy, and they don't uh, crease that easily. Some of these sleeves, oh, they just crease really badly. So I just unpacked uh, a ton of these and put uh, 600 of them <laughs> off to the side. So. Uh, yeah, so we have sleeves for each individual card in these packs. I do appreciate the fact that these are playing cards and uh, that they will be uh, handled. They will be played. I don't intend to keep these as uh, collector's items uh, as such. I do plan on, on actually using these cards. Um, so yeah, they will be uh, protected by sleeves so that uh, I don't ruin them. Put these off to the side here. Yep, it's that box. It's pretty neat, this box though. It's like a little tissue box. Might save this for something. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, let's start with the one. So we have here the 24 booster packs. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. First pack here. Oh, you just gotta love that sound. We have Orhook Scrabbers. And uh, yeah, let's leave that right quick. The Gift of Sigmar, an ability card. Let's make a stack for that. Oh, perhaps I. We have a Strike Force Liberator, a Battle Glory. Let's just get these up here. Let's do like this. Reckless Juggernaut. There's a bit, I don't know if you can see it, there's a bit of creasing at the corner here. But yeah, that's all right. Uh, I have noticed this with several of these cards that there are these little creases at the corners, but uh, it is something uh, minor, in my opinion. Crypt Shield Black Knight. It is 
there's another common. All these cards at the start, there's a little C. I don't know if you can see this now that I sleeped it. But there's a little C here at the bottom. That's That stands for common. And there's a little bronze icon next to it. All these first six cards are guaranteed to be common. The first six cards are, will always be common in these packs. Then comes the uncommon. Has a little U at the bottom and has a little silver icon. Show of Grudge. That's a really nice card. Um, great in gameplay and I actually needed this one so that's great. We have here another uncommon. Searing Light. That's pretty great. I have uh, been uh, pretty much challenged by this a couple of times in the app uh, by people using this one. Another uncommon. How many of these uncommon is there? I believe there's three. Yeah, three of them. Three uncommons. One unit, one spell, one unit. So yeah, two units. And the rare one is a unhallowed Mortis engine, which is a great looking card. The artwork is fantastic. Schnitzel. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, I just noticed that my camera was the wrong way around. So here we have the unhallowed Mortis engine. And as you can see, the artwork is just beautiful. That really goes with all these cards, as well as the card backs being really pretty. And the, uh, these ha they have this uh, nice textured uh, feel to them. They feel quite exclusive, even though I have heard that some uh, of the um, experienced veteran Magic players feel that they are a bit flimsy. But I I'm sleeving all my cards, so it's it's not really something that I uh, notice all that too much. Another common. That that seems no. Oh, that's because it's a champion. There, you will always be guaranteed a champion in one of these packs, I believe. Either that or a blessing. Hurstling. Uncommon. Pretty decent. And our foil is an Acolyte, Acolyte Scrollbearer. An uncommon unit. That's a really nice foil there. Really pretty card. I don't really play Chaos, uh, Chaos all too much. Um, maybe I should. Maybe I should. Should try it. I gotta admit that um, I've been primarily playing Destruction till now because I collect Destruction Forces uh, um, from the Miniatures game as, as well. A Long Strike Rapture, which is a unit, and a Searing Firestorm, which is a spell. Soul Stealer, another spell. I have a ton of these. Commanding the dead. A Ragnarok spider. I'm hearing mixed things about this. Some people believe it's really bad, but you have this uh, this one champion which uh, allows you to rotate your card two times in uh, in one go. So in that situation, it might actually be quite useful. Also, there's this uh, Savage Orc Boar Boss Champion, which uh, allows you to, whenever you deploy a beast, and this is a beast, it says right there on the keyword, uh, you just rotate it once um, right away when you deploy it, which is also really powerful uh, for a passive ability from a champion. So it might have its, have its uses. Another Stomping Mock Crusher. Glory of War. I believe I don't actually have this card. Uh, an uncommon spell. When a highlighted ally unit leaves play, gain rotational uh, 1 health and rotate this one step forwards, increase the health gain by 2 for each support that unit had. Okay, yeah, situational, but it might be great. Servant Death, another great looking card. I really do appreciate uh, these, uh, this artwork on the, on the death cards. This is from actually from the old Warhammer um, Skeletal Regiment. Uh, artwork on, on the box and uh, yeah as a as a long time collector that actually uh, that's pretty cool to see um, this as well I believe is from uh, the old uh, Black Orc Regiment box I might be wrong on that if you know better than me correct me uh, down below in the comment section a blood throne of corn 
A circle rage. Oh, the me shaking. And another foil being commanding the dead. There's a little bit of chipping down here. I don't know if you can see it in the right light, perhaps. Yep, yeah, there, just there. A little bit of the of the cover is missing, so the foil is shining through. Yeah, that's actually going all the way along. Oh, oh, it scratched here and here as well. That's not great. Right. Uh, I, I don't know what to do with this. Um, these foil cards I have noticed do actually come <laughs> kind of kind of bendy uh, from from the get-go, but I do believe it's uh, part of the foiling process. So when when they apply the the foil to these cards, um, I'm not entirely sure how this is done, but I, I I imagine it's something like they're rolled into this uh, through this machine, so they they bend it that way. Not entirely sure, but um, yeah, let's get on to the next one. This video might actually be quite a bit longer than I originally anticipated. I'm sorry if I'm taking too long. I will try and uh, and get these little uh, what are they called thumbnails? I don't know uh, down below so that you can skip to each booster pack. Another Strike Force Liberator. Triumphant Smash. This is the most annoying card to play against. It's really good. It's not that, but having um, the ability to remove a highlighted enemy spell or unit if uh, and uh, and if the the card was removed, rotate a highlight allied once a step backwards. That's really powerful. Not only do you take your enemy's card off the board, but uh, you actually get to rotate one of your enemies. Uh, no, one of your allies. Uh, one step forward if uh, if the enemy unit was removed. This is really powerful. Great card. I'm actually quite uh, excited to try and play with that uh, when I eventually build an order deck. I might actually go ahead and, uh, and make an, um, a video on uh, how I will craft this, uh, this deck. Stormstrike Fulminator. Grot Slashes. This this is also ancient artwork. <laughs> this is from the eighties or nineties, nineteens, nineties, I believe. Uh, it's from the old Goblin Regiment from the Warhammer miniature game. It's pretty great to see this little guy again because the first miniatures I ever bought was actually two Goblin Regiments because I heard you could never get too many goblins and I just yaggedy yag through those <laughs> forty goblins. That was miserable. Surprising Skulkers, yes, this is so great. I actually needed one of these. I only have two, and you can play three of each unit. So my deck, deck will become even more amazing with one more of these. This plays the way that um, you increase this one's damage by two for each support unit that it, that it has. So say, okay, these are not the same deck even, but if the unit has this stacking ability, it says right here, stacking. I don't know if you can see it. Stacking. So if it has two underneath it, you do four more damage with it. So it's seven damage uh, when it rotates all the way around. So uh, on the fourth turn, you dish out seven damage. And that's not including if you have any sort of blessing that increase, uh, increase your abilities output or your damage output in any way. That's really strong. And that's actually the way I, I built my deck uh, for, for destruction. I built it around uh, getting as many stacks as possible and just dishing out three of these guys because it's uh, non-removable. It, this cannot be removed by enemy in any way. So you're, uh, when first you place this down, or rather when at last you play this down, you're guaranteed not to uh, uh, to lose it on the stack. Phyllis Cockerath. Ooh, Frenzied War Chanter. I believe I don't actually have this guy. When this champion deals six or more damage from a single hit, gain one additional action this turn. Mm, this might be really good, actually. Ability, Orog Unit, Grudge Unit. Hmm. Situational. And another ability. Yeah. You need to build your deck in a certain way, that's for sure, but... Oh, I just saw what's the what the foil is. <laughs> Isherin Soul Render. This is a really beautiful card. Really beautiful card. 
an uncommon champion. And these are the Idoneth Deepkin or Idoneth. Um, and this is the, these are able to to perform really well in a in a focused deck around them. Leandra's last lament. Oh my goodness, this is damaged. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it. It's like these little shimmering raindrops on it. Can, can I can I show this in any way? This this looks terrible. I don't know if my camera is picking that up, but it's like someone has dotted little silver spots all over this card. Yeah, that that's really bad. Wow, I haven't I haven't seen this before, but it's the first time I get this. It's an uncommon blessing in foil, so that's quite nice. But the foil, it's yeah, it's quite terrible actually. Yeah, that that's that's bad. Uh, I might have to contact the PlayFusion about that. On one to the next one. We will try and speed through these uh, all now, and then I will just for um, not for them. I will sleeve them uh, all of them at once. We have the Pink Horror Conjurer, the Rallying Cry. I have quite a few of these, but. It's really powerful. It allows you to deploy two unit at, uh, units at once. The Bat Swarm. Lightning Strike. Comet Strike. Two strikes. Strike. Reckless Juggernaut. Sanction. I like these new guys a lot. <laughs> these over-the-top crests on their heads and these weird staffs. They're looking quite great. Big Stabber Crew. This is a, a really good unit at times, actually, because uh, if your enemy does not control a unit, uh, you deal uh, uh, not twice as much, but you deal uh, two extra damage at each turn. So at the first turn, it's three damage, and on the last turn, it's, uh, it's four. So this is really powerful if your opponent has no units deployed. Restoring the Forge. Ability uncommon, uh, then a rare infernal gateway with some sort of siege. Uh, I don't want to say necromancer uh, sorcerer on it. Yeah, that's looking great. I have um, some some mixed feelings about all these uh, monochromatic cards. Uh, on one hand, they look great, uh, and I've seen these. Um, on the community side on, on Facebook, I've seen that the tournament cards will, will also be monochromatic, which means it, it's just one color, really, or of gray or black and white. Um, and it looks really scary, but but yeah, it's, it's also, I don't know, I don't want to say boring, but I don't want to build an entire deck around this color. Blessed weapons, a common blessing. Hmm. Ooh, blue flame. That is really blue. I don't know if you can see this, but that's really blue. Holy moly. Hallelujah. Blue flame. That's great. I'm going to sleep this right away because that looks great. That's really nice print. Swing. Yes. So, yeah, I'm just going to sleep these guys. So, yeah, there's a lot of packs to go. This video is going to get a lot longer than I originally anticipated. But time flies when you're having fun. I hope you're having fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm actually hoping to be able to build um, a deck for, for each, um, each uh, Grand Alliance. So, um, and I hope to be able to make it a bit thema uh, thematic in, in some ways. I would like to build a vampire deck, you know, build just around bats and, and yeah, vampires. But yeah, this classic uh, Dracula themed deck uh, for death would be really nice. I, I don't know if it's doable, uh, if it's viable in any way, but that, yeah, that's what I want to do.
And uh, also, I would like to build a order deck around these uh, idlenet, which I talked about uh, before. Because that's the one deck I really got smacked around by. Um, actually, an, another Danish. Um, it's actually a Danish company which uh, played the the other player. Yeah. So we have disruptive liberator. Beautiful act. I do love these uh, not expression of face masks. They're really cool. Really cool. Pack of blood letters. You have seen this before. Frenzied Warbor. I actually only have one of this card, so I need uh, this and one more. Invigorating Chant. I do love. Uh, this guy was named Warsak Ura Sahubu in the old world. Uh, I do love that name. I will never forget it. I learned it when I was about, I don't know, 12 or 13, but I already, that name always stuck with me because I just thought it was hilarious. Um, and this guy is also um, in the Total War Warhammer game where he dances all the time, so he's just hilarious. I do love seeing this guy. Uh, Blood Feast. Chaos Spell. Starving Flesh Hounds. And these actually are some really nice designs, and these are, I believe, quite newer designs. And um, the, they might get new miniatures in the miniature game uh, before too long. I anticipate that, because we've seen it in the new Shades by a Warband and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. War Chant. Hmm. Draw one one card face up. If it's a unit, you may deploy it onto a higher champion. Normal restriction apply, and if that unit is not clunky, rotate it one step forward. That's pretty cool because I just found out yesterday that when it when it says that you may rotate it, uh, I just thought, oh, that just means that if it had uh, like this uh, damage two here, you would just lose that. But no, it actually means that you activate it right away, so it actually deals damage right away, so this card will actually activate um, the card that is rotated, which is pretty powerful. So all these rotate abilities are actually massively strong. I'm quite excited to try and play around with that a bit. Uncommon, Born from Blood, that's terrifying. Oh my god, <laughs> that guy's like crucified on a upwards down pyramid. I don't know what that's called. The Crucible? I don't know. Nomarchi's Soul Feeder. Oh my lord, that's beautiful. I don't know if you can see that. That's that blue color. It almost looks foil, but but it's not. It's not. Keldrick, the Knight of Shrouds. That's a unique champion. It has a little U there. That means that you can only ever play one of these in a deck. And he's actually a rare, rare champion. That's pretty cool. Gorgranta bus, nice. I know it's a common, but I've unpacked 14 of these booster boxes, which were in um, my founders pack, but I have not yet seen this guy. Uh, he's not common to me, so I'm really excited to see this guy because I've um, seen good results from him in, uh, in the digital game. And the Savage Boar boss, which was the guy I was talking about earlier. Uh, when this champion deploys a beast unit, rotate it one step forward after it has entered play, unless it's clunky. And clunky, that's uh, uh, things like uh, the Mock Crusher, I believe, is, uh, is clunky. Ooh, Frenzied Bargeist. This is really nice for uh, my eventual vampire deck. I'm gonna sleep this right away. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's the, the next pack there. I'm just gonna put these off to the side, so this video is gonna take till the kingdom come, which is a long time. So, speeding through this a bit more. Scrying pool. Oh, revealing it before time. Spoiler alert! Charging blood crusher. Oryx shield bashes. These are great. They reduce damage from enemies, they deal one right when they're deployed. And uh, yeah, they're just great at throwing away as well in uh, in stacking. So when you're building a destruction deck, these are really great to have. All three you can, can maximum have. Call of the Grave. This looks great. It reminds me of the old Tomb Kings, um, a faction that is discontinued in the, the miniature game, but is still available in the Total War Warhammer franchise. 
But because of these uh, golden jewels these skeletons are wearing, they just have a vaguely Egyptian feel to it. I really hope they reveal some sort of uh, Egyptian army for the Warhammer Age of Sigmar uh, franchise. Twisted Scream, a pack of blood letters, tremorcifying, transmogrifying flavor. A lot of chaos. I, I feel like I'm seeing uh, tactical formation. It's actually uncommon, but you get this, I believe, in the starter deck. I, I for one, have like six or seven of these. I don't want any more of them, actually. Dark Mist, uncommon. Yeah, look, this looks great. With Nagash, the supreme necromancer, who is hoping to become the supreme god of death, actually. Terrify. Shake your booty. Yeah, this looks great. That's a Strigoi Ghoul King, and we have a um, the big fell bad thing. What's it called? Uh, I want to call it a Terrorgeist. I believe it's called a Terrorgeist. What was the other one called? I don't know. Yeah, looks great. It's a rare, and we have a common champion, Iridescent Horror. This guy looks like he's about to bite his tongue off. Pretty cool looking guy. Exalted Deathbringer, that's the first one I see of these. Oh, spoiler alert, there was a green card down here, a green foil. I'm excited. Exalted Deathbringer, increased damage from this champion unit on the fourth corner by two. That's amazing. Yeah, he's he's great. I'm, I'm gonna try this, this guy. An Auro Bars in foil. I do actually already have one of these in foil. Oh, there's a little bit of chip in here as well. I don't know what they've, they've done with this pack, but yeah. I was actually uh, planning for a bit more positive review of these uh, foil cards because, yeah, because I actually uh, think they're quite great uh, quality. All these cards, oh, sweeping them already, cool. Grimgast Reapers. This is one of the new guys uh, from the new faction, or rather, it's an old faction, but they have gotten a lot of new models recently. The Night Horns. Pretty great, guys. I've considered collecting this army quite a bit, but I'm waiting for now. And I'll show you in one of my next videos why. <laughs> because I have quite a huge Orug army uh, of Iron Jaws. So, yeah. The foil cards, yeah. I was hoping, uh, oh, not another one of these, uh, to make a, a positive review of the foil cards. Because I actually think they're really great. I mean, I collected Pokemon when I was a kid, so that's about my experience with foil cards, but uh, yeah, they're really pretty. I do like the art. Jaws of Death. Looks great, this dragon. He has uh, some heartburn, I believe. <laughs> Alpha Griff Chacha. This is one I see a lot in order decks. It's pretty average, I think. I, there might be something I'm missing with this card. If, if you know something I don't, let me know in the comments below. Thanks. Skeletal Legion. Blood Sacrifice. Racial Shell Leviathan. I actually believe I had this in foil, but I traded it off with a mate of mine for some destruction foil. It's an uncommon, and uh, it's really great. It does six damage on this corner, and seven damage on the last corner, which is amazing. Yeah. Deathly Resolve. He's like Darth Vader Force choking the bejesus out of that guy. Yeah, rare card. That's that's nice. I haven't seen that one before. The Gaunt Summoner. I believe he's from the Shadows of Hammerhole or some game like that. It's a pretty spooky looking Pan's Labyrinth kind of guy. Terrifying. His eyes and these things that look like a helmet. Pretty great looking dude though. It's a common, so I don't know why I'm that excited, but I haven't seen that one. Little Warg. Oh, this is from the Goblin Regiment again from old times. I remember this these things were actually in the box, which is nice for yeah, it's from fifteen years ago I collected this uh these boxes. So yeah, it's it's great to see. I love this little blessing icon up here. I know it's a little thing, but it's a little thing that the little detail that does the difference. Also, these little golden edges, not golden, but but yellow edges, which marks it as a blessing. I think it, it's a real nice looking card. All in all, and the foil is an armor of 
destiny. It's your destiny. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, this 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 card is is perfect. So yeah, that that's what I was talking about before. Th these cards are actually really nice. Some of them. I might buy, just have some bad luck with one or two of these other foil things. So uh, yeah, I I will be um, scanning all these before I put this video online. So uh, don't waste your time. I know it's a bit late to say that. Sorry, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. I need these in the app, most of them at least. This looks like uh, Thanos destroying the universe, Hellfire Blast. Looks great. Grease Lightning, Lightning Strike. Fanatical Skull Fiend. There is actually some of these cards, they have like this little line, these three cards, all, all three of them have a little line across them. I don't know if it's from the printing process or what it is, but yeah it it doesn't look great but it's it, it's it's minor I, I may just be nitpicking but i'm i am kind of a nitpicker because i am a collector and i do like to sleeve my cards uh, so that they stay nice for years and years i should probably double sleeve um all my foils i might do that later but for now i just Ooh yes i needed this card this is great the War Chander. This guy gives you additional actions, and actions, they are like the most valuable currency in um, in the trading card game. So yeah, this is great. I need I need three of these. Preferably foil, though. I do hope to build um, my entire main destruction deck out of foil cards. That would be really nice. The Light of Sigmar, Summon Daemon. Matt Damon, <laughs> Infernal Gateway. Yeah, that's that guy again. I believe it's another card. Infernal Gateway. The other guy was called the Gaunt Summoner or something. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Same guy, different artwork. Shows some consistency in the deck. Pretty nice. The Crypt Haunts of Coach Ye. Mm -hmm. Oui, oui, très bien magnifique. I haven't seen this guy yet either. Bloodthirster of Unfettered Rage. This guy looks amazing. Diablo on steroids. And the foil is a Blood Reaver Chieftain. Swing! This guy looks great. He looks like he's in some sort of heavy metal band or something. And the card? Yeah, it's actually perfect. Actually perfect. There's nothing wrong with this card at all. Really nice. So yeah, I just might have had some bad luck there for, what was it, like two or three packs in a row? I don't know. Warding Light. Mm -hmm. Looks great. Is that a Celestial Prime? It looks like the Gal Maras right there. That's, uh, that's Sigma's own hammer, for those of you who don't know. Pretty great. Stormstrike Fulminator. These guys look great. Uh, not so much in the miniature game. They're quite static mini. That's I digress. But yeah, I like the cards. Sweeping the Marchy Thrall. I need to get this down here yeah, so you can see it. Crypt Shield Black Knight. Demon Demonic Fury. Can only be played by a Demon Champion. Two damage to yourself. Ugh. And five damage to your opponent. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Frightful Touch again. This looks great. It reminds me of the trailer for Warhammer Total War with the guy being corrupted by Siege. I do know that these are actually um, spirits and they are meant to invoke the feeling of death, but yeah, I kind of feel like the demonic powers is taking over this guy instead. Tell me if you agree with me. This guy. He looks like he's about to be singed. I'm gonna singe you right out of here. Capricious Flamer. Sounds like some sort of steak. I'd like the capriciously flamed. Thank you, dear. Divine Vengeance. That's a guy smackering that guy the, uh, of unfettered rage, the bloodthirster. Grand Ambush. This is actually the first card I've received of these guys. Hmm. 
I don't know what they do actually. Can only be played by a disengaged champion. Deploy one grudge unit from your hand or deck onto this champion. If the deck was searched, shuffle it afterwards. Discard the top card from your deck. It's actually a rare. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I, I need to try and play with that. Riptooth Megabars. I have tried this guy for a bit. But he don't actually work out with the way I build my deck, but I do love the artwork. It looks amazing. Yeah, but G-Dubs actually need to start making these Iron Jaws in different colors. I hate the yellow. I viciously hate the yellow. Armor of Destiny. Yeah, we have a foil, so we don't care. Necromantic Bloodline. I've seen a lot of people pulling this card, but yeah, this... There's something wrong with this card too. There's this little, I don't know if it, yeah, right there on that corner, right, right there. There's a little chip. It's like someone just tapped it lightly with a with their nails. I don't know. A little bit, little bit up here, right on the black dot there. <sighs> that sucks. I I hate it when these. Because the the foils is what <laughs> kind of the selling point for me. I do like some flashy cards. It's great, especially when you're only playing um, 38 cards in a deck. It's pretty easy to get a fully foiled deck. Oh, you should think these two cards go together. You have the Varen God over here, and you have a Varen God there being destroyed by Oryx, as it's supposed to be. That's great. Mob Rule and Blood Hunt. Paladin Decimator. Yeah, this guy is great. He's pretty basic, but I see this guy in basically all order decks. He's really great. Especially if you amplify him with something else. Freakish Crypt Horror. Yeah, he is kind of freakish. Storm Shield. Oh, that reminds me of Tyriel from Diablo. The Archangel of Justice. Later Wisdom, I believe. Hmm. Opportunity strike. Yeah, we don't care about that. Sanction. Yeah, that was, that was a great card. Rejoice in the slaughter. Yeah, that looks like a mass grave. Terrible. Scatter the forces. Not the card is terrible, but yeah. The idea of mass grave, though. Hmm. This seems greater. Scatter the forces. Hmm. I might have gone past this too fast. I thought I've seen this before, but actually, I haven't. It's an uncommon, but it's not a death card. It's just a random, non un unaligned ability for wizards. Two damage to your opponent. If your opponent has more than seven cards in their hand, they must discard cards from their hand until they have seven cards. That's really good because actually in, in on the forums we've been talking about how you just want to... Uh, draw more cards, so that might actually go against that. Crowded Wolf Chariot. Nice. Spirit Torment. Nice. Deathless Thralls. This looks cool. Spooky, but cool. And we have Starving Flesh Hounds. Somebody feed the Flesh Hounds! Swing. Onwards. Chaotic Restoration. Bat Swarm. Yeah, more of those. I, I, I know it's a common, but I'm excited. I need these for my Vampire Day. Strike Force Liberator. Freakish Cryptora. Paladin Protector. Oh my god, I hate this card. This is such a wet blanket card. It's really good. If you're an auto player, play this card. It's 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 great. Valiant Cry, Corn's Chosen. I've seen that before. That looks like something out of Dante's Inferno. Dante, Seven Death, Search of Justice, Varus, Varus Star Strike. I don't know if that's I'm pronouncing that correct, but he's a cool looking dude. Hmm. Yeah, he's that new engineer guy. I forgot. What he's called, but he's a unique guy. Hmm. Another Gorgrunder bus. That's kind of nice. I want to try and play with two of them, so yeah, I'm psyched for that. Divine Blast and Savage Loyalty. A 
great looking card, no damage. And this purple effect? Yeah, where is it? Where is it? There it is. It looks amazing. It's it's in the eyes of it and then this lightning around it. Oh, that looks lovely. This is a great looking card. Even if I never play it, I might just frame it. It's yeah, it's really beautiful. I'm getting all hit on my head. Bam. Bam. Grudge Slashes. Insatiable Blood Reaver. Oh yeah, this card. Don't even get me starting. Piercing Shot. 3 rent damage to your opponent. That means your opponent can't protect against it. 3 damage in one go. Bam. There you go. This is a really good card. But really versatile as well. I, I believe that should be in most of our decks as an ability just to get your champion to rotate. Summon Daemon, Charging Black Knight, Blood for the Blood God, Aethoing Scout. These are really beautiful miniatures as well. The Knight Aceras. Oh, as we say in my gaming group, the Miley Cyrus, because that's what it sounds like if you say it fast. Knight Aceras. Who's talking about Miley Cyrus? Yeah, not me. Common Little Warg. Oh no, not another damaged foil card. That's terrible. It has this little dot down here again. What is up with these little silver dots? Other than that, it's perfect. And it's a really great and terrible looking card. Oh my god, that's spooky. Yeah, this is not going fast. But this is a much, as much an unboxing video apparently as it, it's, a, it's a talk about the game in general and the hobby. Feasting podcast. Oh my lord, look at that thing. I don't want that crawling under my bed. Terrifying. Call to the Grave, Righteousness, Jaws of Death, Brute Smashes. These are great cards. I need three of these in my deck. I don't know if I have three. I do believe I have two, but I need three of them in my deck. Mystic Shield. I don't use that card. It's an uncommon, but I don't use it. Blood Warrior. Because I believe, actually, that the best uh, defense is a good offense. Restoring the Forge. Hurricane Raptor. These guys... I don't remember right now. Damage to your opponent. The highlighted champion cannot deploy spells or units of playabilities. Yeah, that's really good. And it's a rare, so that's great. I need that for my order deck because that's annoying to play against. Swift Judgment, a Grot Boss. I have quite a few of these. Don't need any more. Tides of Death. That's the. Uh, is it called the Eidolon or something? That guy. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god. I do love the blue ones, I noticed. The blue ones really speak to me. And this is almost perfect. It has. Slight, slight silvering at the bottom here, but uh, yeah. Otherwise, it's it's great. Yeah, I I don't know if I've just been unlucky with this pack. Like this is going to be a tendency. I'm, I'm going to have to wait and see. So yeah, if there's anything else, soul stealer, you'd um, you'd like to see me unbox or make a review of, please let me know in the comments below because I am willing to to, to do something on, on request. Achillean Barrier Guard, that's another of the Idoneth, Idoneth, Idoneth? I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it, but they're cool looking dudes on these uh, eels. Very uh, Trojan looking guys, these, I really like that aesthetic. Might have to collect that army. If I do, you will be the first to know here on YouTube where I will unbox it, um, unbox all the army um, units and I will build them with you and paint them with you so you can see it from start to finish. And that goes for any army I might collect. God, Chopper Brew. This is a cool looking dude. I love this guy with the can opener. It's actually called a Gord Chopper, but it's a can opener. That's what it is. It opens Stormcast. That's what it's for. Yeah, so we have more of these show of gruts, which is an uncommon, and I believe that because I have not seen a lot of these. Serve in death. The foot of Gork. 
This is a great spell in the miniature game where it just keeps stomping enemies and dishing out mortal wounds, which means wounds you can't defend against. This is a nice card. Rare card. I love the artwork of this one. Oh, this is great. Protector Prime. This is, I believe, in the starter deck, which is meh. Uh, I mean, the starter deck is not meh, but this particular hero getting it after having the starter deck, that's meh. Ooh, a Pouncing Wolf Rider. My god, people, I needed this. Ah, oh, this is nice. Oh, this looks so cool. I hadn't really noticed the guys in the background. You really see them now that they're foil. Mm -hmm. I do appreciate me, appreciate me some green foils. That's what we're here for, people. Green foils. Gotta power through this. Yeah, I'm really picking up the pace right now because you guys have other things to do and other people to see. Grave Call. Furious Strike. The Scorn of Sorcery. I have a ton of these cards. Hellfire Blast. That's Thanos destroying the universe. Arcane Bolt. I have a ton of these as well. Work Ceremony. Oh, them Iron Jaws though. It's an uncommon. Your highlighted units are dormant. And that means the ones on each side of the spellcaster casting this one. And you draw cards for each highlighted units. That's nice. Really nice. I like this one. I like this in foil. I, I'd like it in foil. I haven't seen it. I want to see it. Red for charge. Gaze of corn. Oh, that's a cool looking dude. That actually looks like that dude a bit. Not entirely the same. Kinda. Rune Mark Deathbringer. It's a common. Gonna go on. The Might of Gork. I use this in my deck at the moment. Dishing out 9 damage over 3, third, three turns. Which is really good. It's pretty standard. It's Everybody can use 9 extra damage to your opponent. A Fanatical Skull Fiend in foil. I do believe I actually already have one of these in foil, so yeah. Might have to build a, a blood... Uh, what's it, what are they called? Blood, blood bringers? Blood reavers? I don't know. These corn guys. The Bloodbound. The Bloodbound of corn. Build a deck around them. Hmm. Let's see what else is in there. Piercing Shard, Unholy Vitality, Alpha Griff Charger, Disruptive Liberator, Rock Infusion. I use three of these in my deck at all times. Gain three health. That's nice at any given time unless you have like 32 or more health and two damage to your opponent. This is a really nice way to activate your Shaman. Uh, they're called Wizards here. But um, use it as an ability with your Wizard and do some damage, gain some health. It's a really nice and versatile card. Capricious Flamer, the Stake Guy, Tactical Formation. I don't know why this is an uncommon. I do not know. I, I gotta find out. A Gift of Change. Hmm. Not a gift, but just Gift of Change. Which means Singe. Singe is the God of Change. This is pretty. It looks, again, again th these Singe cards, they look foil, but they ain't. An uncommon. It's it's nice looking card. Ooh, an Archeon. That's like 14 bucks right there. Non-foil. Meh. Have one. Have two, actually. I have the monochromatic one from the limited edition because I've got the Founders Pack. So, yeah, this is this is going for sale as well as the other guy. Really nice. Grudge Shaman Spider Rider. A Grudge Shaman is sneaky, evil, and insane. A Grudge Shaman on a spider is exactly the same, but with more limbs. That's 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 really funny. I like this one. Skull Throne. We have one that's called Blood for the Blood God, and this one is called Skull Throne, which is like finishing the sentence Blood for the Blood God and Skulls for the Skull Throne. Another perfect foil, and it's blue. This is really cool. Oh my lord, it's really cool. I love this card. This is beautiful. And it's it's pretty good as well. It's it's actually a common card, but yeah. Six health across three turns. That's that's decent. Yeah, I, I like that. I'm gonna use that in my deck. Somewhere or another. Opportunity strike, 
feasting my guys, the terrible I don't want it on my bad guy, pouncing wolf rider. Yeah, I use three of three of these in my deck at the moment, but I'm gonna phase them out um, for these war chant dudes instead because they produce another turn of actions instead. The gaze of Mork. Yeah, though there, there was another one. War chanter, just what I needed. I still need one more of these guys. Enraged Alopex. That looks pretty enraged. Don't want to be swimming with that guy. It's an uncommon shark dude, which is another item of Deepkin. So we're pretty excited about that. Frenzy Devotion. This is the artwork from the. What's it called? The Gore. Gore something box? Which was a game, like a little miniature game with four minis. Really good savings. It's a rare card. Pretty good. Another Riptooth Mega Boss. I do not need more of these. I have three now, which is which is great. Lord of Change. Yeah, that's a pretty all-round good wizard. Uncommon. Scatter the forces in foil. Hmm. Now I might not, I might need to have um, have some research on this uh, this card. Oh, it's pretty. Kide. Onwards to victory! Or just an exclusive pack. I know it's a silly thing to enjoy, but opening these guys. Mm, it's so nice. Fanatical Skull Fiend, Gift of Sigmar, Chaotic Restoration with the Oakroid Thermoturge, or whatever he's called on it. Cool looking dude. Like an evil genie with legs. Unholy Vitality. I have it in file. Who gives a hoot? Ethereal Horde. Commanding the dead. He's just floating there above the army. Cool. Brutish Resilience. I like that guy. He's cool. Another Iron Jaws card. Ooh, gotta enjoy it. And I do. I do enjoy it a lot. Mystic Shield. Flow of Chaos, a rare card. Hmm, another blue one. I I see I get drawn to the blue cards a lot. Mm, chaos. Lord Veritant. Or Veritant. Ah, Veritant, I believe. Turmoil of Souls. Four damage to your opponent, shovel two cards from your opponent's hand into their deck. This is annoying to play against, <laughs> but it's really great. Battle Glory in foil. Didn't I just request that like 30 minutes ago or something that's yeah great it's perfect it's really perfect in the artwork and the foil is nice and shiny so shiny gotta love that song Moana listen to that oh yeah that's the good one that's the stuff Arachnarok War Confusion Return of the Fallen Charging Blood Crusher, Zombie Dragon. Mm. It's a common, but I do believe I only have like one, maybe two of these. Nice, I do like it. Scorn of Sorcery, have a ton. Light of Sigmar, uncommon. Do believe I only have one of these, maybe two. Rejection Slaughter, I've seen it. Reckless Inspiration, this is a great card. Situational, really much. You need to place your Shaman at a very strategic, good place but yeah it is a really good guy rotate a highlighted unit two steps forward if this causes the unit to exhaust gain two health and draw one card which is nice if you didn't know especially with these um, rotate rules inspired glory that's actually my first time seeing this card at all these uh, pendants of Sigmaron or oh, well, this this looks really good a rare card Rest spell. Hmm. What does it do? When a highlighted champion deploys a unit, draw two cards and rotate this one step forwards. Heroic act. Gain two health. Exhaust the spell. Heroic act. A spell with a heroic act. Hmm. I believe that's the first time I've seen that. I've seen it on a champion like here the Knight Heraldor has heroic act. Rotate a highlighted stormcast. Blah blah blah. Looks like it has a tiny little head. But. Uh, yeah, otherwise great looking dude with a trumpet. 
Supernatural horror. Highlighted units are dormant. That's great. For three turns? That's that's really great. A fearless cockerath. No, actually multiples. They're cockerats. Hmm. This looks cool. Okay, I might admit it. I just love foils. They not they don't have to be blue or green. This is red. Really red. I like it. It's red for corn. Swing. And it was perfect. And it was a rare. So that's nice. We do like some foil rares. They're worth the, worth the most amount of money, but not that that really matters because I'm not selling that one. Pack of Blood Letter, Pouncing Wolf Rider, Ghost Lake Skull Reaver, Searing Firestorm with Archaeon's Mound, Dorgar or Drogar or something like that. He mutated when he went into Age of Sigmar from the Old World. Meat Shield Grots. This is the... What's it called? The... Um, Least like voted most least likely to be a good card or something. I don't know. It, it's not really, but this is a really good card. You should try it. If you don't don't know what it does, it reduces damage from received highlighted enemies by two, and it increased by one per support, and, and it's across every enemy line. So this is great, and you first rotated when you uh, receive damage. So this is just a passive. Like, yeah, meat shield, so it's great. I kind of want three of them in my deck, but yeah, I don't have that many cards to put in the deck, so might not. Oh, there were like three Ideneth in row. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time we're seeing the Bio Volteric Morsar guard. Achilles. Raldor, Swift Judgment. Ooh, this is very nice. The Snazgar Stink Mullet, a unique wizard. I don't even have this card yet. And I pull it in foil and it is perfect. I spoke too soon. It has a tiny little white dot right there, or silver dot. But that aside, he has red foil on his eyes, which is really good looking and his little star thing with the snake thing on it has yellow eyes but the rest of the foil is like a light uh, teal color not teal um, uh, like a cyan light light blue so that's a great looking card I'm wait a second I'm, I'm rushing this way too much what does it even do heroic act rotate a highlighted spell to its last corner this heroic act can only be used once per game, but that is potentially really powerful. And he only costs like six points. He is unique. Spell, spell, ability. Hmm. A heal? I haven't seen that one yet. It's it's not common in, in destruction deck, that uh, that logo there. Right there, right there. Okay, grave call. Unholy Vitality, Oryx Scrappers, Long Strike Rapture, that guy. Oh, Putrid Puke. This is nice. If your opponent does not uh, control an, uh, a unit, this will deal 7 damage on the second turn. That is nice. Battle Glory. Surprising Skullgers again. Hmm. But I do believe I had 3 of those now. So, yeah. But I'm really, still really excited because it's a great looking card. With all these little night goblins on them. They're called Moon Clan Grots now, I believe. All of them. Court Chopper, Brood, Frenzy Blood Reaver, Bloody Vampire Queen, with these little pompous sleeves on her. Great looking card, Crypt Infernal Courtier, Wargulf Courtier, hmm, an uncommon. He looks like he's seen some stuff. Cool looking card and healing storm, also quite quite ravaged. Mm -hmm. It has silver chipping down here, silver dot there, silver dot there. Yeah, yeah, I'm not really impressed with that. These cards are not expensive 
in my subjective opinion. Um, so yeah, I guess that's acceptable in some shape or fashion, but yeah, that's not great. Deadly job. This is great. I have three of these in my deck at all times. I believe I've said that. Fury Strike, Meat Shield Grab. That's my third one, so that's great. Or Shield Bashers. Blue Flame, Soul Stealer, Bloody Thirst. Yeah. Another sassy looking vampire. But it is an ability for a warrior. Scatter the Forces. Divine Vengeance. Prowling Wolf. That's actually the first time I'm seeing this card. Monochromatic, this giant dire wolf thing is about to eat this little freaky old guy. When the highlighted champion deploys a unit, remove it and deal three damage to your opponent. Exhaust this unit. Hmm. Heroic act. Three damage to your opponent. Exhaust this unit. So you can play it kind of differently. I don't know why it's a rare, but yeah. That's the first one I get out of those. Sinch's Fortune, another blue one. He does love him some blue. Abhorrent Ghoul King, that's the first time I'm seeing this guy as well. Abhorrent Ghoul King. I'm starting to see a lot of death cards. Oh, oh, we got another one of these. Zinch's Fortune. And this card, this card is uh, also damaged. Uh, just just a wee bit. It's, it's like... I don't know what it's like. It's like someone pricked with a little needle and just scratched out some of the some of the foil. Hmm. Ethereal Horde, Blood Feast, Murderers, Wargeist, Reckless Juggernaut, Frenzied Warbar, Auto Scrappers, Gift of Change, Born from Blood, Acolyte Scrollbearer, Neferata, the Mortark of Blood. She is great. I actually have a limited edition book about her. Have yet to read it, <laughs> but I'm really excited to. Um, yeah, she's a unique. She costs 11 points. She's a rare. Yeah, she's a warrior wizard, which is pretty neat. Cool looking card. Yeah, excited about that. Lotion Prince, another first. Hmm, he is a common, but I don't believe I've seen him before. It's like he's riding a little Mosasaur. Reaping Can Wraith. Oh, I do love me some. Yes, yes, so much. Yes. Cruising for a bruising. I've been waiting for this card. I've been waiting for you, Obi Wan. Cruising for a bruising. This is a really beautiful looking card. Really beautiful. Pling, pling, pling. And thank all the Heavens and Sigmar as well. This has no scratches or damages of any kind, so I am ecstatic. This is one of the cards I've been waiting for. And it's in foil, no less. So, in the second to last booster pack, Schwing, Bat Swarm, Demonic Fury, Righteousness, Deadly Chop. Warding Light, Comet Strike, Voltkarg Acolyte. It's an uncommon, haven't seen that one before. He has a weird singed chicken on his shoulder. Kind of cool looking dude. Looks exotic. Work Ceremony, Hungry Fell Bats, uncommon. That's the first time seeing that one as well. That's perfect for my vampire deck. Seeker of Souls, that's a first as well. We start highlight units that are opposite from an enemy unit. Hmm. This is nice. Yup. Smash and bass. Have it. Have two. Have it in foil. But this is a blessing I use in all my decks. Even though it's a common, it's really pretty basic and good. Five damage to your opponent and rotate highlighted units to their final corner. You can dish out a ton of damage with this card. Let me pull this one. Oh. Stop hitting the camera. Bloodthirst of Unfetter Fury, seen it, I have two or three of those. The Crypt Haunted Courtier. This card is oh nigh on perfect. Nigh on perfect. It has a little bit of bit, bit, bit of dot here, but yeah, I'm nitpicking again. I'm guilty, nitpicking. So yeah, that was this 
first booster pack. Um, considering cutting this video short because it's already an, over an hour long, so yeah, I will be unboxing the other one in a separate video. So yeah, sorry about that, but will do, and I will try and speed the next one up a bit more than this one. Thank you for watching. For now. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you liked this video. If you did like it, consider subscribing as it helps me out a great deal. Hit the bell icon just below if uh, you want to join the notification squad. Uh, then you'll get updates as soon as I release new content. And uh, yeah, comment on my video if you liked it, even if you didn't. Tell me what I did wrong. Tell me what you'd like to see. Yeah, let's keep a chat going. And uh, in the mortal words of uh, Wayne Gretzky, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take.